Hey everybody! How are you doing? Let's take a break from Mist and let's play Risk of Rain! Many of you might know this little game by Hoopoo and Chucklefish. It's a little action platformer roguelite shooter with a number of different people. don't have all the artifacts yet, but I'm working on it. This and whatever this one is and the, um, its origin one. We're going to be playing this a little differently than normal. Most of you know this is a, a platforming shooter game, but we're actually going to be doing something a little different because in the new patch they added the... Here it is. Here it is. My gamepad doesn't work in as many. The bundle of fireworks that launches a bunch of fireworks when you open a box. And around this, I've created what I call the Firework Challenge. In which, after Zone 1, you're not allowed to fire your gun whatsoever. The only way you can attack is by fireworks. You're not allowed to buy any whites that are not fireworks unless you have no choice. Uh, for this, we'll be using the Artifact of Command. If there's a shop with a random thing in it, I have to buy the random thing. Um, so that I can get more fireworks. If there's a shop with no random thing, I'm allowed to take my pick. After the first level, I am not allowed to fire my gun. I am allowed to choose any greens I want, and my use item, as soon as I get it, has to be the captain's wheel. For this challenge, we are going to be using the sniper. A, because his gun is so bad it doesn't matter if you fire it anyway. And B, because he does have a rather nice, um, I don't know if you can see my mouse, Military training here is a rather... it's a decent dodge. It's got a quite long range to it. And I think the scan might help with fireworks, I'm not sure. At the very least it calls out threats. Uh, I'm allowed to use the last two abilities, military training and scan. Not allowed to use snipe and steady aim after round one. Um, the artifacts we'll be using are glass, just for the extra challenge of having only 10% health command so that I can obviously pick my fireworks. And we're going to be playing currently on Rainstorm. I may later revise this when I feel like I'm good enough and do it on Monsoon. Um, but without further ado, let's buy some fireworks. The mouse ought to, if it's there, disappear automatically. If it doesn't, we'll work something out. Um, so right now, round one, um, you basically have to use your gun to get going. Once I am going, round two. Well, we're not gonna do that. I don't know how many laps I'm gonna make. I'm probably gonna at least do the oh, well, I have to do the one. Might go for two. We'll see how much fun we're having. Um, I am al allowed to buy um, drones, this guy here. But I am only allowed to buy them the first time. I cannot revive them once they have crashed. Um, mostly because the you know they produce rockets when you buy them. But in past runs of this, I've found that having a whole ton of them on glass basically completely negates the you know the the point of having the fireworks anyway. Right now, I'm just running around and letting the monster spawn kick in, because we, um... Well, quite frankly, you can't buy fireworks without money. On that note... Pachow! Now we have money. Yeah, I see you. Get out of here. We're going to buy Le Fireworks! Woo! Run is officially on! Now... You're going to buy some fireworks out of the box. You're going to use that money to buy a robot, i.e. fireworks. Now, the first level I kind of have to balance buying stuff and not buying stuff, because the trick to this is that we need enough fireworks to defeat the rush. When you every level has a teleporter, when you toggle the teleporter, a bunch of monsters rush into the zone, including a boss, or multiple bosses, depending on how hard the game's gotten. And um, 
we need to be able to buy our way out of it. It's going to need a lot of money. Uh, you can see up in the top right, you can see the difficulty scale, for those of you who've never uh, played Risk of Rain. The longer you play, the more challenging it gets. As before, I am mostly running around getting money. I'm going to try and not fire my gun now, but no guarantees. Again, since drones originally create fireworks, they have a free buy for our purposes. They're allowed to shoot, but I am not my drone's keeper. I am not responsible for it shooting its gun. I am only responsible for me shooting my gun. This was originally spawned out of a close friend of mine. Uh, we were trying out the command artifact, and he thought it would be terribly funny, which it was, uh, to make his barbed wire <laughs> encompass the entire screen. And he did, at about, what, it must have been 150 barbed wire, which uh, made me decide I wanted to try out the fireworks, because I had a bunch of them. And it, it kind of went from there. Also, I, I was very curious that since They'd rebuilt the game in Game Maker Studio, and it had been notable for frame rate dropping in the last level. If I could actually get the uh, more stable Game Maker Studio version to where did the teleport go? To go down to single or low digit frames in any area, which it does. Uh, once we start to get double and maybe triple digit fireworks, things are going to get a little silly. And I think I'm going to use my money before we start the wave to go find a purse. Because what's a good sniper without fashion accessory? I mean, money. We don't want to deal with Green Man there. He has a huge range, and with our 10% health, life is going to be bad. Um, there is no restriction on any items that are not white. Um, I'm allowed to buy anything in any rarity more uncommon than common. Like this one, and I'm going to buy a purse. Because it will give me extra gold. <clears throat> and we are going to need gold to afford fireworks. I don't remember where the summoning portal was. That was empty, so it must have been down in this corner. Let's pretend like it's down in this corner and everybody can yell and scream at me if I'm wrong. You guys would never do that, right? Nope, I'm wrong. And it's not on the right, so it has to be on the top left, doesn't it? Did I pass it in the middle and not realize it? That, ooh, ooh, this is getting a little hairy. It's, oh, you don't spawn fireworks. Whoopsie. No, come back. Oh, I don't want to shoot you. Fine. Level one. Guns allowed. Trying not to. But I think we are going to have to do that number. Of course. Clear some of this monster mess out. The other thing we're going to want a lot of really early are the um, Tough Times, which is the teddy bear that reduces damage, and the Infusion Vial, which increases max hit points on kill. Because we're going to want to get out of glass mode as fast as we can. Otherwise, this is going to get real bad, real bad. There it is. <coughs> So the other question I want to ask is what kind of nearby treasure chests am I looking at? Nothing this way. So I basically want to run down and the one on the left, so down into the right, probably. And so now you push it and run.
Oh, here they come. Oh, go little turret, go. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna run over here, we're gonna find us some boxes, and we're gonna open fire. The reason gun is allowed in level 1 is 1. A lot of the times, like here, you wind up with the boss spawning in an area where there's no nearby chest, and you pretty much don't have reasonable access to speedy captain's wheel at this point. Um. Whoop. Fireworks, obviously. And. You need some way to be able to kill the boss. The other reason this is going to be kind of challenging is because for some reason the second areas just really don't have a lot of chests. I've it's something I've repeatedly noticed and something that has consistently plagued me. Uh, but we're we're gonna do our best. What I really want right now is a captain's wheel, but I'll settle for fireworks, obviously. Okay, oop, oop, now we're talking. So what this does, um, this is one of those goofy cryptic hints that doesn't really tell you properly, but it's gonna um, summon a treasure chest to nearby our location, and we can then open that chest to purchase fireworks, as is the plan. Yes, this is a very silly plan, why do you ask? And we're gonna run around and open these chests, because every firework possible. <clears throat> we're gonna go to the party city. Fireworks, ahoy. And I think, now that I have two purses, now's a good time to buy an infusion so that we can start clawing our way out of miserable hit points. As you can see in the top corner there, in the left, my money is already showing significant signs of improvement off of the, um, the, what do you call it, purses. I'm going to probably not purchase these shrines now, but we'll purchase a few. Uh. Oh, got something! Wee! Here comes the money! Boom! I really love how they have everything sort of vacuumed towards you. So far, we have only fired two shots in level one, I think. Might have been three or four. Straight count. So now we have just the guardian here, so we're gonna bam and we're gonna open the chest and kill the boss! Yay! We win! Let's open this chest first because we have to go that way. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, from here on out, no questions asked. I am not allowed to use my gun. Anyway, shape or form. Use my scanner, I can use robots, and I can dodge. But my gun is my firework. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Aha, okay. Cool, we got the caverns. This one has a lot of chests. It's it's the one with all the parents and children, the the rain planes or misty planes, whatever they call it. That's the one that doesn't really have a lot of money chests to it. Did I say yeah, I did see vines. Now this set, I'm probably going to do a little weirdly, because this is all going to be one, hopefully one, run. Um, if it winds up being more, I'll probably split the runs apart, but I th think, unless it runs way too long, I'm going to try and make this one video. Uh, and the other thing I want to do, first of all, is let that stun lock the laser monster. 
Um, second of all, is I want to kind of wander around for a minute and accumulate enough money to consistently float from one chest to another. Which is possible. I've done this run about twice now. Surprisingly, most times it winds up safer than a normal run is really, really weird to me. No, I don't want to deal with a green flame. Those things are scary. Tell you what. Alright, we're gonna kill these two mushrooms. And is it time to. I think it's time to start opening chests as we find them. I could summon one, I'm not going to yet. Hmm, or I could open this. You know what? There's enough guys around. I'm gonna open this. Buy another purse. We want lots of money early so that we can just float chests. And by floating, I mean having enough resources to um, open one and kill enough monsters. So, whoa! Whoa! Laser monster! No, thank you! And this isn't going to get really exciting up until we start boosting our ship's wheel. Because you can do some pretty ludicrous things with the ship's wheel if you really commit yourself. And I will. We are going to see some very exciting things. Boom! Oh, he sucked up all the fireworks. Oh, the, what happened there? When two chests uh, land on top of each other? with the Artifact of Command, somehow you open both of them at the same time. If it's two different rarities, by the rules, I'm stuck into buying the fireworks, which uh, frequently overlaps with that pile of green goo you see in the bottom, the filial implant, which winds up giving me this little guy following me around. Uh, it's not great, waste of a green. It gives you buffs. I haven't noticed him doing anything. Maybe if you've got, like, a bunch of them. Um, so we're gonna kill the Magnorm. And we're gonna take the boss chest as a rapid mitosis, which will speed up our ship's wheel. We're gonna buy our fourth, fourth purse. We're gonna summon a chest, which uh, now only takes 100 seconds to recharge instead of 120 going to open said chest and buy another rapid mitosis. We're going to be buying a lot of these guys. We're going to be opening a lot of these. We're going to be buying a lot of boxes. We're going to be buying a lot of infusions. Let's buy this. That's a usable. And then we get a firework. Can't take the usable. My usable has to be the ship's wheel as part of the conditions of the run. Uh, mostly because I said so, no real other restriction. Really the reason you want it to be the wheel is so that you can have easy access uh, to sp spontaneous offense. Because if you don't have a way to summon openables, your ammunition winds up limited. Which, if managed carefully, you can do it. There's there's certainly, um, when you've got glass on, there's plenty of damage in the level if you're consistently picking up fireworks. But it's a little touch and go. So I need to go down there and get that stuff. Why have I not gone down there yet? What's wrong with me? Early game, I'm probably going to be saving my ship's wheel until we actually need it. Late game, I'm going to be spamming it. <sighs> and yes, you can spam items with two-minute cooldowns. Now see, we have a shop here, but there's no question mark, so I can't buy fireworks, so I do get my choice and go to the 
mysterious while. Oh, and actually kill off the rest of our enemies. Let's, let's buy fireworks for get some jiggles. And here we have another bundle of fireworks. Up to 13 now. Oh! Okay, I started moving really fast there. Was that you, little buddy? Must have been. Well, thanks, I guess. Um, seeing as everything's gone, I'm gonna open our chest. Take a box of fireworks. Chests up here. I'm gonna check before we go. Uh, not over there. Little oh, buddy, you need to quit falling off of ledges. That's dangerous. It's quite dangerous. Nope. Okay. No more loot. Ah, ooh, hmm, clutch jumps. And onward we go to level three. Ooh, the water level. I like the water level. I don't like snails. I'm gonna summon a chest near the boss gate. A laser robot. We're gonna let the drone kill this guy. Since I can't. And I have no nearby affordable fireworks. So now I can open a shrine or a cheap box. And there is a canister here. We might can challenge the gate. Let's challenge the gate. Do not challenge the gate. Oh, that's a monster. That's not a... Oop. Oh, my robot. My robot's getting very, very angry. Oh, got it. Nailed it. I lost my robot. I can purchase this robot though. Because this one has never been created. The other one has. Some nice lethal fireworks going off here. Guys, sure, what's in here? Uh, toxic worm. Do me much good, I reckon, but it's an item. Mostly it's a source of fireworks. Because fireworks are cool looking. Also powerful. Yes, yes, you're all quite uh, lethal, I assure you. Oh, snail. Well, I'm just gonna buy my way out of the snail. Bam! Oh, uh, if you look down in the bottom right corner right now here, I'm kinda on the edge of the screen down there, you can see an artifact. I've already got that one, we're not gonna be getting it. You go down here, go to the right as you fall, and you'll come up on the other side of the what's it. I need to go chase down that chest I summoned, because it just decided to spawn... not up here? Where did it go? A very mysterious chest. Oh well. Not entirely necessary. Hopefully I'm, um, 
You know what? I don't know if I'm coming in over the music. There. Let's pretend like that works. Also, if anybody knows how to get down to that chest down there, do tell. I know you can, uh, there's times when it spawns with the walls open, but... Wait a minute, is this the same trick as that other thing? You go down and then... Nope. Okay, I tried. Anyway, there was a bunch of chests over here. One, two, bundles of fireworks. Oh no, what are you? You're... Actually, a shield. You are a bundle of fireworks. Our 17th one, and you are a rapid mitosis. Score. And that one that I just summoned, check out our under a minute captain's wheel, is another rapid mitosis. Getting it down to under 45 seconds. So we have now roughly cut the recharge on our wheel in half. I'm gonna go leave the level. fireworks in tow. Eventually when I start firing fireworks the game will start lagging. If I accidentally buy an item that is not a firework, um, which is possible, um, I just won't pick it up, I guess. Um, because accidents do and have happened. Oh, I need to get out of the lava. Woo. Oh, I can't jump. Uh, this is the most recent patch. There is a bug where uh, occasionally, for whatever reason, you just can't jump. And uh, I know they put out a bug fix. I wish they would have fixed that one because it's the most game-breaking of all of them. I mean, you know, it's not game-breaking, game-breaking, but it can really mess you up as you wiggle around to try and find a ledge you can actually jump from. <laughs> Doing some split-second backflips here. And we're gonna summon a cremator. Oh, man, I hate cremators. Ooh, but there's lots of ammo up here. Let's do it. Yep. There he is. That is the cremator. Yo, fireman boots. Excellent. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh boy. This cremator is gonna be death. Soldier syringe, I can pick it up, but I can't use it because I'm not attacking. I think I am going to soon begin buying cuckoo feathers. Let's kill off the crater. Oh, and get a monster log. Excellent. And we're gonna buy some cuckoo feathers. Yikes, ow lava. Poopoo feathers let you double jump. Oh no, he ate all the fireworks in that box. Trick here is if a monster is on top of a box when you open it, the fireworks kinda explode harmlessly. Not ideal. Okay, now we can get some height. are theoretically done with the level. I want to see if there's any more chests to be had over here. Because clearly, 
not enough fireworks. More than enough, never is. Oh, and there's a robot down there that I haven't activated. You'll do. We're gonna take another sheep. This one is a flamethrower. Close range, high damage. Probably low health. I don't know the health of robots. I know the basic attack robots have garbage health. And something that isn't really mentioned anywhere, but I've noticed happening is the more of the tough times you have, the damage reducer thing, it actually reduces the monster's damage, not the damage you take, because your robots seem to benefit from it as well. Very peculiar. Not complaining in the least, though. Here we are, Temple of the Elders. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da -da. I don't reckon the teleporter's up here. Can't really get up here. I mean, we can, because we have mad ups, but... This is the layout where you're not supposed to get over here. Which means the teleporter's either at the bottom, nope. Or it's gonna be on the right side somewhere. Which sounds more likely in this case. The other thing is we finally got the cooldown for... Oh no, it's down on below me. Finally got the cooldown for this goofy um, ship wheel. Well, it's not below us. Below 45 seconds or so. So we can reasonably begin actually just leaving boxes lying around. Getting a lot of money off of that one container. Um, that's an attack drone? We're gonna leave that there and open it up when there's bosses nearby. I could take the HP shrine, but those often wind up being deadly lethal on glass mode. Um,. And I'm thinking we probably want to make a second circuit because I'm not going to have enough recharge on my um, on my um, what do you call it to summon enough boxes to kill the boss. Oh, um, one other thing of the glass fire run. You are allowed to change your use item on the last level, but the only other one you can use is the the key that opens chests. Uh, I think we're gonna go back over there and open up the Doing good, I'm not firing my gun. I have not fired it in four levels since level one. Cool, there's a lot of stuff here. We're gonna wanna summon a box. Out. Yeah. Oh, we killed a overlord. We're gonna buy money. We're gonna need lots of money. Also going to need lots of fireworks. Ugh. Gonna buy another rapid mitosis. Just get this box out of here. And we're gonna hang out near all these chests and wait for a bunch of goons to spawn. Summoned another box, where did it go? Sometimes it just doesn't work. Maybe it spawned underneath this one? That'd be weird. I've seen it happen before. Um, 
we're just going to start arbitrarily opening boxes. Because I remember there being a lot of them over here. And even if I remember wrong, Zamo! 30 second captain's wheel. I think there was something down yeah. Fine on shield and red whip. Shield is your regenerating halo shield. Um, red whip makes you faster outside of combat. Uh, other items we have include Soldier Syringe, which I can't use because it increases attack speed. Even if I could use it, Sniper can't actually benefit because of the minigame he plays. Um, Fireman's Boots um, leaves a little trail of fire you see behind me. Toxic Worm is the green ring. Um, when anything it touches it, it starts taking damage for a few seconds. And the vial is healing over time. Now we are talking. So, our rapid mitosis now has a cooldown of under 20 seconds. That is a pretty standard use item cooldown, actually. We're gonna take take a sniper scope. Has a chance to deal like 600,000 damage. Something ridiculous that instant kills dudes. Very rarely. Uh, as before, we're not shooting, so we can't actually benefit from it. It was just the first nice thing I saw. Um, yeah, we're gonna need another run around because I still don't have enough recharge on that chest. It's gonna take a long time to uh, kill the boss, but we can at least just buy a bunch of stuff before we go. At 28 firework bundles. Oh, if you fall off the edge over here and go circle around the bottom, there's a what do you call it artifact thing. The what's it? What gets you special conditions? We are now in the world of multiple bosses. There's a container, there it is. Losing it in the mess. Fireworks. Shop with a random, have to buy the random. Buying shields. By the random, by the purse. Use item we can't use. So we have a red whip. Garbage item we can't use. Some money, some fireworks. Ooh, a meteor. That would be nice. Use it. Secret ladder here to get this chest. And by this chest, I mean a bundle of fireworks. Ladder's still there, you can go backwards up it. Is there something down? Yes, there is something down in the hole. And since there's no randoms, I can buy a goat hoof. Makes me run faster. Now that we have this under 20 seconds, we're going to buy this one, which has a chance, 30%, to double the effect of our use item. Which, in our case, means we summon two treasure chests instead of one. Ah! Case in point. Bam, bam. And we're gonna buy two fireworks, a little awkwardly. And a war banner. 
Ah, because there's no random. And a bunch of fireballs. More fireworks. 35. My favorite run that I did of this was last night. And I think I wound up having 200 bundles of fireworks after roughly 80 minutes of play. I'll post some screenshots after this, but it wound up getting to the point where um, on the final level I opened about 100 treasure chests all at once. And you should have seen it. it I'm going to post screenshots because it was just too good. Whatever, use all my money. Ah, there's another one over there I can't afford. Blurred. That's good. <clears throat> I want to get two or three more beating embryos and one or two more rapid mitoses. Rapid mitosis? Rapid mitoses? Rapid dosy does? Oh, no, this one's actually got some decent loot on it. Mm -hmm. How in the world have we made a circuit and a half and under the maximum difficulty? That is pretty crazy. <laughs> and boss dead. Go team. I need something to buy. Oh, he ate it. Oh no. Uh, you, you're a whip. I need to move faster. You, you're a box of fireworks. You're a box of fireworks. You're a box of fireworks. Works. Uh, is there anything actually? Spawn gate is. Like fireworks. Um, we're buy some tough times. Decrease our damage. Okay, enemies are dead. We're now free to loot to our heart's content. Forty-four fireworks. These are going quite swimmingly. Starting to have actual health that I should have had about a level, about ten levels ago. So that's good. Getting out of range of imminent death. I'm uh, not gonna bother with that shrine. I don't know why I summoned that, I can't buy it. Yeah, we're in the ancient valley, and I need to find a container. Hmm. Ah, there's one. Loads of money. Loads of chests. The other reason you want a lot of purses is because any of the chests you summon with the captain's wheel, uh, they're single rarity chests, and see the difference between the two pictures here? 
but they cost as much as the, um, the big rarity chests. And um, the more that you summon, the more that they cost. Uh, they do increase in price. So we need to be able to consistently keep up with said increase in price. Buying world. Buying oops. oops, oops. And again, purchasing the wrong thing due to lag. Not gonna take that. I'm gonna take purse. And we're gonna leave there. Just in case the chests spawn where they shouldn't. And whiten the orange. Aha, uh -huh, we have a... ooh, an attack drone. That's gonna be nice. Boxes. And we're gonna toggle this. Hello, Ifrit. Goodbye, Ifrit. Let's just go over this thing. Matter of fact, let's take another feather. Let's take another feather. Mad ups, woo. Nine. Oh, you can start to see the slowdown. I think we do need to, uh, start thinking about heading for the boss because, um, while I find it hilarious, if the game crashes, you, uh, I guess by necessity can't win. And I do plan to win. And I now have to wait for my chest to charge because it spawned underneath people. And I can't use them there. Oh, got a green on top of a white. Now have 52 fireworks. Yep, there's the slowdown. Probably also slightly more pronounced because of uh, wraps. Um, where did we toggle our what's it over here? Haven't seen any boss items. Really need some more of that. Get the purse. Firework. Shield. Take on the laser gun. Lots of missiles everywhere. Oh, and fireworks. There's an artifact if you go this way. That's a rare chest. That's a green rare. We're going to take a bear. Oh yeah, he's giving me little swords occasionally. I think that's it for loot, besides that which I create. Uh, oh, but it, there we go. Jump canceling. And we're gonna go complete this circuit and move on to the... What do we call it? I've forgotten the name of the ship. Oops. 
well, whatever ship we have. I want to call it the Weather Light, but that was MTG. Those switches in the wall over there activate the artifact over here. There's three of them. There's one there. There's one on the top left. And there's a third over to the far side of whatever this majigger is. As incredibly detailed a description as that is, I know. Da -da, there's the second one. Ew. Toxic beasts are great. Heal so much off those guys. Ah, dude, standing on my chest. I need people to quit standing on my chest. I can't attack people that way. Oh, there's the other switch was over there on the left. Hopefully you saw it. If you didn't, too bad. Might pass by again. Um, -da -da -da, there's stuff down there. I don't care. Oop. All I care about is fireworks. Oh, lovely fireworks. Oh man, we still got 30 seconds to go. Uh, surely, yeah, there's boxes down here. There's money down here, because we need money. Lots of money. Uh, I guess that was two used items. Ah, pretty fireworks. Yep, getting down into 30 frames. That's not fraps lagging my computer, that has way too many particles on screen. Um, tends to happen doing this run. Frankly, the fact that it's not uh, already crashing is a miracle. I a lot of laser drones floating around. Also, there's stuff down here. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 doop. How many feathers? One, two, three, four, five. Uh oh! Well, anyway. Don't actually need what's down there, so whatever. Ah, now gas. Let's get some money. Let's get some items. Let's get some fame. Popularity contest. Boom! Let's find a teleport. And I'm really hoping against hope that we can find a number more uh, mitoses and beating embryos. Because I'm not getting double chests consistently enough. Cooldown is somewhat sufficient. Damage is definitely sufficient. Money, arguably sufficient. Considering we're going positive on basically every chest we open. Oh, white and the green. And you have a lot of these little squishy dudes. Oh, stuff up here. Gravity. Oh, oh, it was right there. Oh no. Oh, I could have had it. Oh, we got a laser. Can't use it, but we have one. Laser charges whenever you attack. We're not attacking. What we are doing is looting. It's like the ultimate game of Diablo. Or you win by looting treasure. And all of your treasure explodes. That is basically my ideal game of Diablo. 
Uh, oh, we got a leg. I don't know what that does. Want some more boxes. I don't know where they went. What I do know is I want to buy a lot of fireworks. Boom! Bang! Gross numbers of smart shoppers. Probably way too many, but you can never be sure. And waiting for our frame rate to recover. We're now at 71 fireworks once I pick that one up. And I'm thinking I might actually want to stop grabbing fireworks. I can choose not to take them. But I can't pick different items. Because when we try to kill the boss, I have a concern. This is gonna crash. Which is technically the same as the boss defeating me. For our purposes. And we don't want that. Nobody wants that. I will continue to take confusions. I will continue to hope for a TOC. What a beautiful spread of fireworks. You ever seen anything more beautiful in your life? Also, you can see the uh, artifact down there is the one that that jumping platform puzzle leads to. Starting to run out of money, but that's okay. Because we're going to be moving on soon. Alright, time to go to the ship. Contact light. That's the one. are going to abuse key cards for money and profit, as you do. Now we are talking, um, if I spawn them faster, I have a better chance of getting more. Uh, fireworks. I can stop taking chest above me that I can't access, that's that's great. Let's take a cheat death. Cheat death is grand. The other thing that's grand is a golden chest. I don't know what's in this one. Yes I do, it's two chests. And we're gonna go up here and hope that there's a... oh, it's below me now. Oh, I don't have the money for that. Whoops. Well, at least we know that it's there. We get more money. More chests. Yay, money! I love money. Uh, that's not quite enough. Can I maybe spawn a chest in here and kill something without leaving? Please, no. They are insisting on spawning above or below me. What if I go above me? Yeah, there we go. Ten thousand dollars? Ten thousand dollars? Maybe? Anybody? Here, ten thousand dollars. Yeah, whatever. Stop taking the whites. Going to crash the game. Beating <laughs> Yay, money! I love the money rain! How many others do we have? We have three of those, which is 
roughly 90% chance to double chest. Leave that. Oh, I should have left all of those in place, because now I have to do a boss rush with no uh, ammunition. Let's make some, shall we? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go. Excuse me, I need to hit this button. Ah, all the chests are buried underneath people. Get out of here. Go away. I need to open boxes. Yeah. Party! Party. Here we go. There it is. Oop, game is choking. We're gonna get there, game, you and me. You and me and the rest of the internet. Money, more money! More chests, more loot, more plunder. see this this is a nice room if I had a key down here oh the wonders you'd see This is going to be our mission control room, whilst we are boss rushing. I'm going to try to refrain from opening all of these at once so I don't destroy the game. It's, it's going down to 30. It doesn't want to do it. I might have to lay off of the purses too, because it's trying to animate hundreds of thousands of coins. Yep, they're all exploded game. You can go back to normal speed now. Uh, let's buy Fugents. Which actually won't help the problem either. Uh, I'm so bad at fixing this. Our health is at least caught up with where it ought to be. Open for mitosis. Open for mitosis. Come on. Anybody? Orange, red chest. Anybody at all? Random. Nope. Oop, let's not open all this stuff until now. Oh now that's a place for it to spawn. That's exciting. How many key cards? Oh, I have all the key cards. Uh, damage reducer, barbed wire, because it popped out of the random thing. Um, well, we have all of our key cards, so at this point we're just treasure picking. So I've got to pick the firework. Can't open that one. Don't actually want the firework, though. Yep, filling up the storage room. Hooray. Take another cheat death. Those will both activate at once and be entirely useless. Uh, 
Uh, there's an open window here if you can jump high enough, which we can. And... Taking for reds. Hey, now we're talking. Uh, I think I want speed. Oh sure, spawn it down there, game. Doesn't want me to have any of these boxes. What you can also do is go up here. No purpose. Nothing at all. You can actually get outside the level this way. I don't know what purpose you would want to. Speed. Hey, everything's coming up snipers. So we now have an eight second cooldown on our captain's wheel. Which roughly translates into infinite loot. And missiles, yay! Use items, don't need them. Actually, remember that one, because we will need a use item eventually. Oh, we've gone under 30, gents. Uh, yeah, we'll take an arms race. Considering all the robots. Check out the armory. Uh, okay, we'll take a missile launcher. Doesn't really do any good. Oh, did some of these chests spawn on top? Oh, I shouldn't be opening these. Whatever, I'll replace them. objective now is to litter the chest, litter the ships with chests. Such that we can access them when we need to. Interesting point of note, you can't actually drop treasure chests in the room where the final boss is. So we do have to get slightly creative. By slightly creative, I mean I'm going down here. Uh, whatever this is. I don't know and I don't care, whatever it is. We want to send this to the final boss room. We'll take this. What is this? Yay, a brain! Hey, we've got a bunch of robots, right? Let's go hang out with some cool robots. Hey, robots! Robots having a dance party. Break dance and sniper. Dance party. Free swag for robots. Hashtag robot swag. That's enough of that. Back to littering the ship with chests. Whoa, where am I? Oh, good lord, I went all the way back. How did that happen? Hooray! Slightly unstable builds! Never 
ever seen so much treasure in your life? Look at all this garbage lying around. boss fight. Free money from nowhere! <laughs> There's more chests in this room now than when I entered it. Excellent. No, turn on the clock, whatever it is. Don't open the boxes, I need those. The other problem is I don't want to summon too many of these things, otherwise it could crash the game when they open. Let's pretend like that's probably enough of them. Find one more. Boom. Let's pretend like that's enough treasure chests to beat the final boss. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm gonna keep pushing it till we get over to the use item. Which is over here. And now, I'm going to change my use item to... where's it gone, where's it gone? Where, there's the key. Uh, neither one of those is a key. Alright then, um... your box. Open! Says me! One of you's gotta be orange, right? Come on, there's an orange box in here somewhere. Stacked on top of something horrible. Yeah, you'll do. My kingdom for an item box. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nope. You're not an item box. You're not an item box. My fireworks. Box. Looking for an item box. Did I leave one over here, maybe? Let's pretend like I left one over here, like a completely disorganized idiot. Nope, not in there. Completely accidental mayhem. There's gotta be an item box around here somewhere. I need key. Surely I left one. Oh, this is gonna crash so hard. It's already dipping to the 30s. I think we might have uh, defeated ourselves. Uh, no, that's green. I had to have left one somewhere. I had to! All I want is the worst possible loot. How hard is that? There it is! Buy a key. Switch for key. Alright! Here we go. So, we've set up our backup plan. I'm gonna try and win off of the stuff in the boss room, but I might run out of damage. We're gonna see. Because if I can avoid crashing the game by opening all of this nonsense at once, I'm gonna try to. Once I've defeated the boss, I'll open it for you, because at that point we've won no matter what. This, this right here, this is our pocket armory. And that up there. 
and anything down at the bottom. So we're going to activate the boss summoner by firing fireworks. We're going to fire the fireworks, not the lasers. Don't actually care about the lasers. Then, oh, once he gets off the healing pad, I'm gonna heal myself by firing fireworks. And tragically, I think we're short on damage. So, we're actually gonna. Oh, no, 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 no. Hit. Did that get anything? That didn't get. Hit. Here it comes! Bang, bang, bang! Fireworks! Boss defeated! Fireworks! And I think that's the game crashed. Because we just opened about 70 boxes. I think it's gonna run out of memory. What do you guys think? Excitement! Parties! Fireworks! Oh, I love it! Gotta have a bridge party every now and again, right? Oh, it's picking up! Oh, it's coming back! Yeah! Parties! Explosions! Victory! What a way to celebrate, huh? I think it's crashed! Has it crashed? I think it ran out of memory. It stopped moving. Anyway, we're probably going to pretend like that's run out of memory. Oh, 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 no, it's processing explosions. <sighs> I love it. Duh, breaking games. Is it gonna recover? Maybe. We've entered the time warp. Time does not move normally here. I don't know what to do with this game. Dubstep is still going, so that's a good sign. Uh... Hey, we even have a keycard for memories. We'll just steal the keycard from the hotel. By the way, don't try and do this with 200 fireworks, because it will run out of memory. I did that. It's insane. And it's trying its little heart out, question mark. Really would love to see the statistics on this game, as poor of a decision as that was. Oh, one frame per second. I think it's still moving. Yeah, I can see raindrops moving. Oh, 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 we're moving, we're moving. All right, everybody, let's, let's exit the planet by firing fireworks. Fireworks, I love fireworks. Parties. And so they left. The sound still ringing in deaf ears. Yeah, we would be deaf after that. Okay. Woo! We did it! Yay! Maybe again on Monsoon? Some other time? I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready for that or not. That went pretty well. Never actually played Monsoon, so I really couldn't say. Oh, it's not gonna let me skip the credits. Fine. Speed them up.
And our final score... Uh, it doesn't say how many things we opened. Oh yes, it does. Purchases. 276. We got a score of 9,660. Woo! Because clearly everything else doesn't matter. Clearly just the number of items we had. We rather we purchased. So yeah, thank you for joining me. Um, there's probably going to be a little snippet bit after this with a couple of screenshots of 200 fireworks trying chuggishly to go off. Uh, I don't know if I'll talk over it, but you'll at least get them. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me for this marathon of Risk of Fireworks. We made it rain. <laughs> And, uh, join me soon. Um, Mist will probably have finished up by now. Riven is probably the next one we're going into. Um, I have done significantly less, uh, playtesting to see if I remember what to do. So expect a lot more fine than you did with the rest of it. Probably gonna be a lot of fumbling and mumbling. But hey, that's what keeps it exciting, right? So thank you everybody for joining me for uh, this, and uh, till next time.